it's blocking you too much from moving forward in life. Hello, Pisces. So good to see you. Thank you for being here. Please be sure to watch the general energy reading for Scorpio season and be sure to watch your taroscopes for your moon and rising sign also. Let's see what Scorpio season has in store for you. I'm having trouble shuffling all of a sudden. Ooh. That was just dropped right out. We'll go from the top here. Okay. All right. Interesting. So we have the four of cups. <laughs> I, don't know why. I don't know why that drew a blank. I know I'm, we're looking right at it. the four of cups in reverse, the eight of cups in reverse, and then the six of pentacles. Let's see what's happening here. So we'll start at the beginning. Four of Cups. So the Four of Cups, especially in reverse, um, is when there is, I feel like it. this is one of those cards that it doesn't matter whether it's in reverse or not. Um, it is about focusing on, on all these things. It's about having like blinders up and focusing on these things that you want um, and being too caught up in like how you want them to happen. And then you miss a gift from the universe here. You're missing the gift. The other thing about it being reverse is it could ref it's referencing the card before it, which is the three of cups. So there's a couple things here because then you see the three of cups like crosses over here. So it almost makes me feel like you might be, it's like you, <laughs> it's like Pisces, you had some rough seasons this last year, rougher than you were used to. Goes pretty well for Pisces most of the time. Um, because you guys are such positive, like rays of sunshine, you see the best in every situation, uh, you get along with everybody, but this last year was just a little bit rougher than usual and you really had to go through some shit. And so it's almost feeling like, like we've, we've, cause we're getting on the other side of that. The last like couple seasons and readings for you, I felt like we were getting near the end of that. We were getting on the other side. So with the, with this four of cups in reverse, it's like that energy of the three of cups, which is like fun celebration. Like it's like, you finally got back connected back to like some fun and enjoyment in your life. But now it's like, you got, you missed it so much that you got like hyper focused on the fun. And now the fun might be getting in the way of the forward movement. <laughs> you know how we all do that, how we just like things just keep coming up, especially after quarantine and the pandemic and lockdown. And now it's like, oh, I got invited to this thing. Yes. Oh, I got invited to this thing. I want to go. Yes. I want to do that too. Oh, this fun thing. Yes. Yep. 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 And then all of a sudden, like the house is a mess, your laundry isn't done, but man, you were going out and had sure having a good time, which is great. I want you guys to have a good time. But moving into Scorpio season, it's feeling like there needs to be a little bit more, I don't want to say restraint, uh, what's the word? Moderation. It needs to be a little bit more moderation uh, when it comes to the fun you're having <laughs> because now it's, it's kind of put your blinders up to missing some things that could be coming up for you that still need to be worked on. It's like, Oh, I'm nope. I'm in the fun, tunnel of fun. I'm in the tunnel. of fun. <laughs> oh, you know, Oh my gosh. You know, if you've watched doom patrol on HBO max, such a good DC show, not a big DC fan, Doom Patrol I love, 
there is an entity named Danny and Danny was a street and then they became like a ambulance but Danny is kind of everywhere Danny just shows up for when people need Danny uh, and it's every, where everyone's accepted so it's usually people who are lost or in trouble Danny will show up and and give them a, a protective place to be which is great but Danny is like a bubble of utopia and not and although it's like a great thing for people who you know for the people that were there who needed a safe place to be it it it's making me think of like you're in your own like Danny <laughs> you're in your own like bubble of happiness which is great but then at the same time it's like an illusion it's not real there's a real world out on the outside And, and as soon as you leave that street, as soon as you leave Danny, you have to come to grips with what the world is actually doing. What reality is actually out there. And then with the Eight of Cups in reverse coming up to this, again, it's like, I'm not walking, like, I'm in this tunnel. I'm walking through this. I'm walking through this street, this fun tunnel, Danny Street. You know, like in this bubble of utopia that I've created for myself, but it's it's blocking you too much from moving forward in life, from growing, from the next place that you want to be. It's it's you're now like become it's like becoming escapism and if you ignore your like your stuff too much it like it comes back around and comes for you when you don't want to you know well of course you don't want to deal with it but it's like something that you can't run from And it feels like you, there are choices that you have to make and you don't want to make them, but you could, you could make them. Seems to be a lot of resistance coming up for Scorpio season. I think cause the depth of Scorpio can be intimidating for people and there is a you know with your two cups in reverse here there's a resistance of that depth there's a resistance of of that emotional depth because it makes you, it might make you sad and you're just like I'm done being sad man I'm done but at the same time there's like something that needs to be worked through here there, it feels like there's like an elephant in the room and you're like, la, 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 can't see you, can't hear you, I'm having fun, not paying attention, because on the other side of it is finally this balance of nurturing and balance of energy. I love when the Six of the Pentacles comes up upright because it means that there's a even exchange of energy an equal exchange of energy between you and yourself between yourself and others and we need that we need more of that in the world we need more of this equal exchange of our time and money and energy to be simpatico to be in symbiosis symbiosis with each other um, to make sure that all parties are winning everybody is benefiting it's not just one person benefiting from other things sometimes you have to give sometimes you have to receive but when you're kind of just in this bubble you're not really giving or receiving you're just kind of being it's it's like you needed to be selfish for a little bit which is good um, but 
it's like, okay, now time to come back to reality, y'all. You gotta, there's like bills you gotta pay over here and there's choices you have to make. And I'm really sorry, but like, you can go back, you can go back to some of that fun later, you know, remember what made you feel the fullest. Just looking a little bit in the future, Nine of Swords in reverse, King of Wands. We're having a lot of crossover. King of Wands came up for Aquarius. If there's Aquarius in your chart, you know it, Aquarius. I would watch that. These are those things that you just can't ignore that are creeping up in your subconscious, that are coming out in your dreams, that are coming up when you're alone. These things that like, it makes me think of like any of those music videos where people are just going like off the, off the rails and having a good time. Um, like what's that Tove Lo song? Like high or something? No, what's it? I get high all the time. That video is very much like she's like off having a great time and going out and having a good laugh and partying and everything. But like the songs about like, I have to be this high to forget how much I, I miss you. It's like, you're trying to forget all the shit that you went through because you were so tired of it, but you still haven't fully dealt with it. You still haven't fully dealt with it. And it's these things that you just can't ignore. They're just going to keep coming up in one way or the other. As no matter how many little mind tricks you do on yourself. Okay. You have the power and the capability and I, and you are naturally like magic and magnetic. And I know that you want to feel like you're fully embodied self right now, but it feels like you're doing this like teeter totter thing. Like I was so sad for a while and now I'm going to be really happy for a while. And it's like, no, we need to try to find a balance. You need to be, you know, doing the shadow work, doing the healing, also having the fun. Fun is also important, but it does feel like time to like come back to balance a little bit more. Okay. Okay. Mystical Shaman Oracle card. Ooh, completion. I don't see this one a lot either. I've been pulling some Oracle cards that I do not see usually. Completion. Interesting. So it's in reverse. We read the medicine. The essence. All things have a beginning, a middle, and an end. This is the nature of life, the seed, the flower, and the fruit, and of all human relationships. Complete, completion, excuse me, completion suggests the fullness of the moment and the need to transform an old form into a new one. The medicine. Clinging to the old form will bring only decay. When fruit is left too long on the vine, it rots. You know that it is time to move on, yet are reluctant. Do not be afraid of hurting anyone's feelings. Remember that you are responsible for your actions, not the actions of others. Mourn what is lost so you can move on. Do not be sad. Be like the sun at midday who shines brightly, neither longing for sunrise nor dreading for dusk. Or nor dreading the dusk, excuse me. Be like the sun at midday who shines brightly, neither longing for sunrise nor dreading the dusk. It even says don't be sad. Because <laughs> I don't want you to be sad. But I want you to be okay. And ignoring one thing or the other, or depriving yourself of one thing or the other, or indul overindulging in one thing or the other, 
makes you imbalanced, okay? Mourn what is lost so you can move on. That's what this is about too, so you can move forward. It's all about forward movement. And many times we need to be where we are to move forward, okay? I love you, Pisces. I believe in you. Let me know if you need anything. I'm always here to support you. You can always book a one-on-one -on -one session with me. Be sure to watch your Moon and Rising Taroscopes. Please like and subscribe. And I will see you for Sagittarius season. Bye, Pisces. No last I heard, there's a